Peace and blessings. I hope you guys are doing well. I want to give an honor and thanks to the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the ones who's created the heaven and the, and the earth and the hosts thereof, and my, to my Mela King. You know, uh, I wanted to make this quick video because uh, this is just some encouragement to all the persecuted individuals out there is to not give up on the fight, no matter what they do to you. I've said this many times before, but, you know, I'm saying it again. Uh, of course, you know, as you guys know, I was hit by a car two weeks ago and uh, I'm doing really good. I am. You know, I feel good. I don't have any broken bones. I don't have any fractures by the grace of the most high, I'm, I'm happy, you know, but I'm also happy that I was afflicted like that. You know, these bastards didn't even have the nerve to uh, choose two competent individuals, because it was two dudes who did it, to hit me and to make, make it count for something, you know, it was a waste because I'm alive and I don't give any uh, glory to Satan because I know that if Satan really had all this power to do what he does, I would be dead and I'm not. So I know that my father's in control. On top of that, above all things, know this, my father is the one that allowed that to happen to me. So I'm glad that I was afflicted because it made me, it, it, it put me more on fire for him. You know, and the two individuals who did that, who took that deal, that's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. You know what I mean? And I hope you riding around probably in a nice fancy car was paid, I'm sure, a nice little check, you know, not giving a damn. But the reality is, is this. I hope it's enough money to bail you ass, your asses out of hell. I hope it is. You better hope and pray it's enough money to bail your ass up out of hell. And y'all not going to repent. Y'all have no, you have no will to want to worship the most high. You have no will to want to turn from your wicked ways. You, your family, and your ancestors are worshiping false gods anyways. You attach to, to, um, to Candoble, Santorian. That's what you guys do, period. So I'm not even worried about you guys. You see, I know that my, fire, my father has usage for the wicked and the wicked don't even know that they're being controlled or being used to fulfill the most high's purpose so he will have you think that it's you but it ain't you so you know for the persecuted individuals go through it endure it until the end I know it's hard to to accept that, but the truth is, is this. Don't think that you're going to really, truly be on fire for the most high and want to really spread this gospel and spread the truth. And you ain't going to get afflicted. This is just what we have to go through as warriors. You know, and as far as my scars, they're nothing more but warrior scars or warrior tattoos, I guess. So thank you for that. You know, and I feel like since I've gotten this head injury, it's easier for me to, you know, see things a lot clearer, especially considering I'm, I'm talking about, you know, uh, visions, things like that. And, uh, you know, I uh, just got to say this, a lot of the people out there. <sighs> These bastards are scared because they know what's coming. It's obvious that judgment has arrived. It is obvious that, you know, it's time. It's cleanup season. And they know that all of these people thinking that they're going to try to. I'm talking about the powers that be that they're going to try to somehow, you know, enforce this new age system like it's already been put into place. The only reason why, you know, they're so aggressive now is because we're at the precipice of the end. So they know that their reign is over. It's cleanup season. You know, the time is over. They've reigned long enough and fucked up this earth long enough. 
And man alone has constantly said that they would rather much abide by this system or abide in this system than to abide in the truth. The holy truth. So a lot of them have made their decisions and a lot of people don't even understand that they're just casualties in the midst of this war. And that doesn't say that they don't have a, you know, a, a part to play in this, but they don't understand that they will just be casualties in the war, in, in this war. Because the truth is, is that a lot of these people who are patriots, a lot of these people who are, you know, uh, fascists, they're part of the left wing, part of the right wing, you know, Leninist, so on and so forth. These people don't understand that Satan is just using them, you know, just so that he can send them out there in, you know, the way of, of this, in the way of this war in front of stray bullets. You know, they're expendable. They're not even pawns. You know, that's how, that's how careless you know, these people are with you guys' lives who are following after these doctrines of devils. That's why a lot of these people are just going to drop like flies and they are dropping like flies and they're going to continue to do so. Because a lot of you, a lot of you people are, you are fickle and a lot of you people are undecisive. And then some of you guys are decisive on what you do, but you're so extremely, you know, erratic where you just don't, you're just talking out of the side of your neck and you don't even know what you're fighting for. Really, you don't. You don't. It's just something, you know. So y'all are going to be the ones that's going to be first pushed out there, the weaklings that's going to be pushed out there who knows no type of spiritual warfare strategy whatsoever because uh, spiritual warfare strategy one on one is you consult your commander, which is my father. I consult my father first and then I wait on his command. That is spiritual warfare strategy one on one is that's what you do. You don't just go ahead and and make do with what you feel like, you know, and want to do. And then act upon it. That's ridiculous. Those are the same people who are willing to risk their lives for a damn system that's done. It's done. It really is. So I'm not, I'm not, I have no sympathy for you guys. I don't. I really, truly don't. And I just encourage the persecuted individuals to stay in the fight, know what you're fighting for, and try not to get, you know, caught up in this world. You know, because they want us to. It is what it is, you know, so I'm glad that I'm afflicted and I'm going to continue to get afflicted. And I say, bring it on. That's the best you got. Hitting people with Honda Civics. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That was the best that you got. So I'll go. I'll continue to go through this. If I need to get hit with a with with a four wheeler, I don't care. Bring it. I'll get hit by 10 cars. And if it's my father's will for me to die, hallelujah, that's his will. But if it's my father's will to get hit and to live, hallelujah, it's my father's will. I don't care. I know it's his doing. Nobody has the power or say so over this vessel but him. So I feel good. And I feel even better at the fact that I am a speck worthy to go through affliction for his name's sake. That's how small I am, you know, because my father uh, has is is is, uh, is is of a respect of of no no person, you know. So who the hell am I? I'm nothing, you know. So I say go through it as long as you possibly can, you know, and it's going to get harder, really bad, you know, but we got to, And this is this is the ten, the test of faith to see who's really, truly going to stand when you have absolutely nothing.
All praises to the Most High. All praises to my Melah King. You know, and I pray for us daily that we be avenged for all the affliction that we're going through and all the affliction that we have endured. I pray for it. I do. And it's okay to pray for that. So peace and blessings. Stay strong. Stay encouraged. Know what side you're on. Don't waver. Trust no one. You know, and uh, just have an open mind and an open heart. A sound mind. You know. And have no fear.